to do Dan's move. Is that Dan's move? No, he's got a move. I don't know if I can do it justice. Basically, <laughs> it goes like this. Why? Why? <laughs> what is it for? Plant your feet. Do you not see? Shoveling the glory? The glory? Just the movement of itself. The intrinsic quality of. It's really intense. <laughs> it really Your is. face is going to turn red on that one. I don't think I have the abs for it. <laughs> you got to be fancier. You, Dan. So, two bottles. I am really excited about this. Welcome to Lose Give Up. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is a gift from Magnificent Bastards, Robert McGrath and Jill Malcolm. Robert McGrath and Jill Malcolm, you magnificent. Bastard. And not only that, so just a little teaser. One of my most a titillation. Uh, yes, a titillation, and I will fulfill that titillation later I shall in be this episode. Satisfied. Yes. Uh, one of the most exciting discoveries for me was not long back. Yeah years, two or three years back, right. I stumbled onto a new Lowland distillery okay. that was just being announced that they were just getting old enough to release scotch. Yeah. And it's called Ilsa Bay. And I tried it at Jeremy Griggs' house. I bought a bottle and Jeremy and I tried it. Yep. And it became, it was just like, holy shit. This is a Lowland whiskey. It's nothing like Akintosh or Glen Kinchy. It's briny and peaty and it feels like Isla. And it was beautiful and we both really loved it. Right. So I heard about this release called Airstone. Yeah. Turns out it's Ale Sabe. It's oh. William Grant and Sons releasing 10 year old Ale Sabe. Yeah, yeah. However, Sea Cask. They wanted them to be approachable price wise. Land cask. So they're affordable, yeah. right? And then they took two different releases one that's peated, the Ten. land cask is peated. 10 years old. Yeah, the land cask is peated, mm -hmm. the sea cask not peated. Oh. Barrels aged more inland for yeah. the wood, you know, a barrels aged by the sea even oh. though it's unpeated, oh. right? So you have an unpeated. Yeah. Island I like impact I like and a that. peated inland, right? But that pleases me. And we get to compare the two, and they're both Ailsa Bay, and I'm gonna pour you the Ailsa Bay I got the to try pleasings. at the very first time I ever tried Ailsa Bay. I'm pleased! Because I really like Ailsa Bay. Ah. What? What's my pleased? What are you doing? I'm pleased. <laughs> What's your pleased? Okay, which one do you want to be the sea cast? Well, as, you, as you pour. Sea what cast. is your pleased noise? Like, I'm just like, hmm, that was good, I'm happy. Yes. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Keep going. That's it. That's all I got. You can mm. put that to music. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, baby. That's spice. Oh, yeah. You know what daddy likes. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's a new R&B song. <laughs> okay, so keep them in that order, and I'm gonna set them right next to these bottles. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna oh. start with the unpeated island. Jumps out of the glass. The man. sea, right? So this is gonna be the sea cask. Yeah. Woo, that is malty. Wow. Like malt funk malty. Yeah, yeah. And then. And fruity. Fruity. And there's like this briny quality to the fruit. And I don't know if that's psychosomatic Psych because yeah, of the sea, but there is. I don't know if I'm getting this, It's not straight up and down. Like sugary, desserty, sweet, rich, dried fruitiness. You know what it is? It's it's got that. You know when you get to the uh, seaside, or the coast, you get that sort of fresh air. Yeah, the sea air. Coming out of the sea, but yeah. it's and it's not necessarily salty always, but it is sort of like light and lively. Yeah. I don't know that I smell salt and brine, but I do have that like light ever. I get a salty. Feeling. I get a salty quality. And again, I could be projecting that into the glass. Very, very fair. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, it's a little thin with a little bit of a spicy. Wow, I would never have guessed that was unpeated. I would have guessed that was really, really lightly peated. Am I grabbing the right one? Oh, yeah. It is. You see what I mean? Yeah, no, it's less. What's the proof? It's got to be in the 40s. 40, uh, it's 40. It is 40. 40 They're both ABD. at 40, yeah. yeah. It feels like on the nose, there was a lot that whiskey wanted to give me. But proofed at 40. The taste didn't quite live up to the promise that the nose made to me. Yeah, it started that way and got a little bit complicated right. and then just sort of dissipated and so, fell away. So, that initial flush of disappointment aside, let's pick apart what's actually in yeah. that glass because it's not bad. It's it's a nice it's a nice uh, set of flavors in here. It's mm -hmm. just the nose was leading me to believe there's more 
more life here than there actually was. If this is affordable, this would just be, well, I, I, used, I would swear there was a hint of pepper in there. Like a really, really, really lightly peated peppery note. You see but what I mean? I feel like, you know, we're standing on a beach and there's a wind coming through a forest. Yeah. But usually the beach wind goes off the ocean into right. the forest. Feels like I get that beach air, but I'm getting like some forest notes floating through this fruity sweetness. Yeah, it's trippy. It's kind of rich and musty for being such a light, unpeated whiskey. All right, I'm going to switch well, to the... Rich and musty, ooh, but, but ooh, proof down. Okay. To... Hold now, on. hold on. You can see the difference between the phenolic smoke and the salt water. Smell that. There's the phenolic peat note. Yeah. That we were we found the, we were mistaking. I'm, I'm curious as to whether this nose is so intense it may have been coloring this first one. No, it's still there because it didn't show up on the nose. It showed up on the palate for me. There's that phenolic note. Yeah, you don't gotta go hunting for that in the in the land version. Ah, oh, once wow. again though, it you falls a little thin. I'm getting um on the on the nose some like mulchiness. Oh yeah, absolutely. This yeah. is like like dense wooded peat. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is not briny peat. No, no, no. This is this is mulchy. This is you got the earth in there. You got yeah. I gonna say you're not getting like the savory meat. Mm -mm. Peatiness that you often found. I'm not getting no. like a really black pepper. I'm just like a really mulchy. And it tastes like it too, but it's but it tastes like it hints at it, right? It's you know what it is. This is a weird comparison. It's like some a smell. There's the smell original smell. Yeah. And then there's the scratch and sniff version. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Which is like for a split second you're like, oh yeah, I get strawberries, right. but then it's gone. Okay. That's what I feel like. The most fun for me is how completely different of a creature I love that peat smoke does right uh, peat smoke delivers into a whiskey because if you were to pour me these things and you ask me just blind mm. do these have any relation whatsoever no. that I'm not finding this whiskey in this interesting the peat just like totally masks it disguises it's a big old heavy curtain of flavor over what was originally in here yeah I think I usually I like smoky whiskey better yeah. But in these, there's more complexity in the unpeated one there that is, stands going out. Going back to it, there's a little bit of a creamy quality to that sweet nose on the Airstone. All right, so check this out. Mm. And again, I, I wish the, the ABV was a little bit higher because there's definitely flavors in there that have more to give, just not at 80 proof. Take a hold of that thing. Is that, do they put marble in there? Yeah, what is that? some kind of stone. Wow, that's fancy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Now like try. A, like a terrier. <laughs> you could brain a terrier. <laughs> terrier height. Yeah. Or weight. Yeah. You don't even need to like get it swinging in a sock. You could just like throw it. Okay. So Not I, I don't advocate animal abuse. Maybe it's rabid and you have to protect something. Like old yeller. <laughs> Can you believe that was a part of our childhood? <laughs> right? You're gonna take, kid, you're gonna take a gun and shoot your own dog. No one's doing it for you. There's no vet in our town. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were traumatized. That's why we're dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. old, old Yeller, we'll blame Old Yeller. Now, the actual Ailsa Bay single malt okay. from Ailsa Bay. Ooh. Okay. This is the first thing I ever got to try from Elsa Bay, and it was okay. so exciting right. that this is like no lowland I've ever had before. This is naughty. This oh, is... come on. Now that, that just wipes these out completely. This it's smells ringing in at 48.9. Like, it smells like how dare you. Yeah. No, when, when Jeremy and I tried this, yeah. both of us went, oh, how is that possible? It's okay. amazing. So I know Especially for being it so doesn't young. have any legal regulatory thing, but mm -mm. It, it's a really tiny font. It says micro distilled? Yeah, yeah. Micro matured. Micro matured. What is that? I don't know. It's a made up term. It just sounds good whenever you're trying to figure out what money to throw at a bottle. Yeah, there's no age statement because this was an early release when it was still pretty young. Mm. And I donated this one to the vault actually. Oh. Right. And then, oh man, I found some coffeeness in there, some, some nuttiness. See, with the peat. Oh. Ah. This feels both earth peat and briny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like what we got, I'm just guessing, yeah. I feel like what we got was a peated malt 
yeah. aged on the coast. You know what though? So it's like both of these. You know what though? But I, I don't I don't know that to, at all. To the point we were making about this at 40% ABV, mm -hmm. 80 proof. And we're saying, man, there, there's more flavors this wants to give. Yeah. This is 48.9% per, 48 ABV. Yeah. That's what so we're saying better. though. Just you crank it up a little bit and my, oh, how the difference that it makes. Carries all the other notes. Yeah. Now uh, on that note, uh, you're going to start seeing ads show up here on this channel now counting down only yeah, a week a few or days, less, we'll a few on. days from now. Yeah, we've been talking about this past few episodes mm -hmm. and uh, this channel is part of a non-profit channel, 501c3 educational institution. They do a lot of classes here and during the midst of Arona, you can imagine that that's not really a thing. So yeah. all of the revenue streams for the schools are kind of in, um, they're in hibernation mode yes. until the situation gets cleared up and that means that there's people who we have on staff here that we really don't want to see kicked into the unemployment line, but it's a revenue situation. Yeah. And one of the things Daniel and I have managed to do for almost four years now. Almost four years. Not have ads on this channel, but it's a situation where, you know what? We were looking at the numbers and by putting the ads on the channel, it's about one employee salary's worth. Yeah, and that's, that's a big enough deal that we can't ignore it, uh, yeah. especially with a board of directors meeting coming up. So, uh, so that none of the you know things you know that go on here that, that doesn't go to Daniel and me. No, no. Uh, we don't get paid uh, for what we do. On That's this channel. actually even more illegal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but we hope you agree that um, a skippable ad that are plugged into these videos. Uh, yeah, you know, we wish it wasn't there either. But it's more important to have one less person put in the unemployment line. Yep. Um, and so. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in hibernation mode for the foreseeable future, and, um... And that brings us to... Where's your phone? The bottle, Lord! The bottle, Lord! <laughs> Here's dividing, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. <laughs> <laughs>